everyone, I'm Vanessa. I'm a second year media and communication student at Coventry University and I'm currently working at DA Group as a PR and marketing editor. Since my first week of working at DD is coming close to an end, I would like to share with you how my first week went by. I believe that by doing that I'm going to demolish some beliefs such as the fact that women cannot excel in this industry heavily dominated by men or that as a student without any specific knowledge about the construction industry, you cannot uh, pursue a career in this field. I hope that my experience uh, will help you get out of your comfort zone and explore career paths you might have never thought about. My first day was filled with emotion because I feel like it's um, the first step of the ladder that symbolizes my career. And naturally I was really nervous because I haven't worked in an office environment before. Everyone was really friendly and welcoming and I really felt like this was the place that I was supposed to be working in. I felt grateful that I still had the opportunity to start my work placement because 25% of the students who have secured one have lost it due to the pandemic. I gotta admit it was weird getting used to being surrounded by sanitizers and disinfectant wipes. Uh, but it is reassuring to see that even though the team is moving back to working from the office, it is actually safe to do so. My manager, uh, Edward Hudson, business development manager, uh, showed me around in my first day and tried to explain uh, to me what are the processes a project goes through from its well, beginning to its completion. But to be fair, I did not quite understand what was going on because I haven't had like any contact with the construction industry before actually starting to work in DD. And this was actually my main uh, fear of not being able to learn about it. Uh, after we had a one-on-one -on -one meeting, I met Eleanor Dealey, Deputy Managing Director and daughter of Peter Dealey, who uh, gave me an overview of how my role would fit in uh, the company's agenda. Uh, because my manager was really, really supportive of the ideas that I was uh, sharing with him. I was, I felt more comfortable uh, sharing them with Eleanor as well. On Tuesday, I had a meeting with Keith, our health and safety manager, who gave me an induction on how to respect the regulation uh, in regards to the coronavirus pandemic and uh, how to be aware of different safety measures such as locating the fire escapes uh, and the fire assembly point. Keith was extremely funny and he tried to make the induction as funny as possible. And that's what I like about the team, that even though everyone is working hard in the office, they always make time to relax, uh, have a chat, socialize, and have a laugh from time to time. On Wednesday, I really wanted to learn more about the construction industry because I kind of got scared in my first day. I didn't quite understand what was a kind of quantity surveyor, what are the estimators doing, what is design and build? <laughs> All these questions were really, really tormenting me in my first days. Uh, he provided me uh, the ISO documents and after reading the ISO standards and taking notes, it, it was much more clear what everyone was doing. One of the biggest fears of an intern is not feeling confident enough to do a job and that, at least that was mine. I actually got over this fear after I was reassured that I don't need to know everything from the first week, but I will learn as time goes by. On Thursday, I attended a diversity and equality meeting held by Eleanor Dealey, which was directed towards uh, involving in more projects that promote diversity and equality in the workplace. I felt lucky to be able to attend meetings with uh, other colleagues than my manager from the first days because it actually made me feel like I'm seen as a professional, not as a student without any experience. You know the stereotype that everyone uh, talks about, oh, you go as an intern to this company, you make copies and that's all you do. You don't learn anything. You just make copies and sort files. That's actually not true at all. My favorite thing is that I get to do a lot of tasks, so all of different tasks. Actually, I'm gonna make a separate video about it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. As an intern without any real life experience, um, your confidence level skyrocket once you are involved in like bigger scale projects because you actually feel like, oh, I'm on the right track, I'm doing something good, 
I have seen as someone who's doing something, doing something useful for a company, which is actually really great. It's a really great feeling. To limit the number of people who are coming in the office, we still work from home a few days a week. And that's why I did uh, on Friday in my first week. Even though my first day was disturbed by a power cut, I managed to overcome this uh, uh, difficulty and I started writing some drafts on some projects that I'm going to be involved in. It is always nice to like get away from the internet and actually just focus on writing because I really, really love writing and most of my work involves writing, even here at Dili. But more about that in the next episode. <laughs> we all know the struggle of trying to focus while we are bombarded with distractions, such as uh, an incoming phone call or um, an email we have received that we have to reply to. I would like to express the fact that even though along the way your days might not go as planned, that's totally fine. But it is really important to be flexible and to try to um, make the best out of, out of a situation, even though it's not as you planned it or you imagined it. I must admit it is weird starting your work placement during such weird times, especially having a PR and marketing role, which entails a great deal of uh, real life interactions. But from a career standpoint, if we as students get used to working during a worldwide pandemic, what else can like stop us? <laughs> I would recommend every student to undertake some kind of work experience. And please don't be scared to go into fields that are outside of your experience or expertise, because you might find out you have another area of interest, such as I did with construction. Thanks for watching and I hope you uh, enjoyed accompanying me in my first week of working at Dili. If you want to know more about the industry, about our company or about what I do, feel free to contact me on my personal LinkedIn profile, our company LinkedIn profile or our email address that I'm going to put in the description box below. So thanks for watching guys, see you soon.